today I'm making some healthy juice. I cut up this washed celery. I put that in the blender. A little bit of bottled water. This blender, I tell you, I've had this blender for like 40 years. And it still works. Ha! Huh. Okay, so I just barely cover the celery with the bottled water. Put the top on. Strain it out. Then I put that in the fridge and I got a super healthy drink for tomorrow morning. And I use the pulp for my compost bin. Here I put it in with some carrots and some banana peels, some eggshells, all my kitchen scraps to feed the micro herd. Yay! Okay, so welcome to my March garden tour. This bucket has Brussels sprouts, an artichoke, some peas, and some sprouting broccoli. You can see the peas right here coming out. Got lots more flowers up on the top. The sprouting broccoli right back in here, you can see. Next, we've got the big artichoke. Underneath this chair is a little artichoke. And guess what? It's gone. <laughs> Somebody ate it last night because it was here yesterday. That's okay. Next bin has Brussels sprouts. That's the one with the big round leaves. Then we've got an artichoke here. doesn't seem to be very happy, but the pea is really happy. This guy, he's got blossoms coming out the top. Walking down this way, sprouting broccoli, giving off a few right here. Look at this lentil, it's humongous. It's been having some flowers right here. And you can almost see little pods right in here. I guess they're really tiny. Hey, nothing up in this big bucket. Nothing up here. Got quite a few strawberries. Look how pretty they are. This one even almost has a hint of red. This section with the original pea plant. It's way up in the tree. I've been eating peas off it quite a bit. This one looks like it'll be ready in a day or so. A couple of them took a little bit of frost damage, but I think they'll recover. And even so, when I open them up, the seeds inside taste really good, even if they've had a little bit of frost damage. Here's the original Brussels sprout. If I look right down in here, I can see something growing right down near the stem. And I believe that's where the little sprouts come that, um, that you can eat. This pea plant is all finished for the season. So I've cut it off here, right at the ground level. I'll be pulling that down and composting that pea plant. This pea plant is still giving off a few. Even though it's kind of turning yellow, I will leave it for a little bit. 
down here a couple more pods but it is on its way out too nothing is up in this bucket although if you saw a recent video there were some little corn plants that had come up but the frost took them down here if you look really close you could see some little dill plants The little celery plants are happy looking. Nothing in this bucket. Nothing in this bucket yet. This is one of the snow peas that I planted later on. And it seems to be okay in there. Here are my broccoli sprouts. They're doing really well. and I've been harvesting them. In fact, today for lunch I had macaroni and cheese with a whole bunch of baby broccoli sprouts did i say that right broccoli sprouts yeah it was really good here are the cottonwood cuttings the chinese juniper cuttings and the baby pinion pines here along the shed i've got a little artichoke, a little broccoli, and at the very end, a snow pea. Finally, here are the snow peas that are up against the house. They've got some blossoms on them, growing strong. I got a new hat. The brim is really wide. It keeps a lot of the sun off me. Plus, I can see better straight ahead. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Jesus loves you. He's the exact image of the invisible God. Trust in him. I'll see you again next time. Adios. Bye-bye.